Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Prepare to be taken on a harrowing journey into the unknown. Brace yourself. The chilling and disturbing footage compiled will certainly consume your senses and leave you craving for more. Starting off this episode is one of the wildest footage we've come across in a while. Picture this. You're moving through the swamps when all of a sudden you see a creature from afar bathing or doing something that looks like that. You pause and try to identify what the creature is. You carefully examine its fur and mannerisms. Eventually, you think to yourself, oh, it's just an ape. You choose to walk away and return to your business, but suddenly a thought strikes you. There are no apes in these swamps. Not that there are no apes that live near swamps, but that none live near your swamps. You return for a closer look, sensing that something is amiss, but you can't quite pinpoint what it is. You peer closer, your eyes fixated, and finally, you see it. It might look like an ape, but its mannerisms are almost human. Then it hits you again. That's no ape. That's a Bigfoot, and your life might just be at risk. But just then it gets up, and you see the creature in its full. You don't have to be told twice to move, that thing could easily end your life. That's exactly how the one who sent in this footage felt. The video might have been taken from the Florida swamps in 2015, but it left him with a memory he may never forget. He believes he really saw and met Bigfoot. Judging from the footage, I think so too. But what do you think? The real deal or a hoax? Tell us in the comments section. Think that was odd? Take a look at this trail cam capture. What do you see? It kind of looks like a shot from one of the older King Kong movies, doesn't it? Only this is smaller and a bit more upright than a gorilla will be. Furthermore, this isn't fiction, it's real life. It was captured by a trail cam that had been set up in the woods to record footage of wildlife animals in the area. Never did the owner think his trail cam would capture anything out of the ordinary, but here we are with something that could only be explained through the lens of mythology. Yes, that's right, paranormal activity. What you see before you is a bipedal creature with the fur of an ape, yet it stands and appears to move as a human would. There's only one cryptid creature known to be capable of that. Bigfoot. But here's the interesting part. This Bigfoot looks different from all the ones we've received on this channel. Could there be different species of Bigfoot with slight variations in their natural features? Have we just stumbled upon an entirely new and undocumented Bigfoot species? Looks like it, but what do you think? Are we alone in this universe? This question sparks opposing views, not only within the paranormal community, but also in the scientific community. On one hand, there are those who find the idea of aliens existing ludicrous, while on the other hand, some see evidence all around us. So which is it, though? Now check out this footage. It seems to support the idea that aliens might just be real. A man and his family were reportedly walking through the woods when a dark creature just came out of nowhere. They had to quickly turn around to save their lives. The individuals were convinced they'd witnessed an alien. But the question remains, was it really one? The creature looked dark and very different from what our expectations of aliens are. Given how old this video is, there are some who are convinced that there's no way that this is edited. After all, you need a lot of skill to edit videos back in 2009. I have to admit, part of me feels like it might have been edited. But tell us what you think in the comments section. Trail cam owners typically set up their cameras to capture wildlife, but even they have to agree that they do capture weird things that will shock many. There is footage that usually doesn't have any logical explanation or explanation as to how they exist, but it does. Take a look at this footage from Donnie Law's East Tennessee Outdoors YouTube channel. It's as recent as the 5th of May 2023. It shows a translucent orb moving across the trail camera. There's no explanation for such a thing. Even after delving into our paranormal archives, I couldn't find a single explanation for this phenomenon. Could it be a sign that the area is a hot spot for paranormal activity and we're just seeing traces of it? In that same spot, you see this second footage was also recorded, showing another bright orb in the location. 
Although this man has no interest in the paranormal, the evidence before him is hard to ignore. Despite his lack of interest in the paranormal, he can't ignore the compelling evidence. He genuinely believes that something dark and eerie may be unfolding right under his nose. What do you think though? Do you have any logical explanations or does he truly have a cause to be concerned? Now to something that's literally out of a horror movie. If you've seen Friday the 13th, then the character you are seeing on your screen should be very familiar to you. What if I told you that the image you are looking at wasn't taken on a movie set, but rather by a trail camera in 2014? It's enough to send shivers down your spine, isn't it? Shocked? That's exactly how the owner of the trail cam felt when he saw the footage. Could it have simply been cosplay? Well, that's possible, but we don't think that's the case here. The camera is located in an isolated and remote location in the woods. There's no way the individual captured in the image traveled that far just to pose with a cutlass for a photo. Plus, he was caught unawares by the trail camera that had been set up and he was alone without any camera equipment. Could he be impersonating the character in the movie? Could he be hurting people in those woods? That's what the uploader and all members of the online community were asking themselves when they saw the footage. But those are questions we may never have an answer to. Thanks to the footage, however, the uploader knew not to visit those woods alone and at odd times. But tell us, do you think there's a cause for concern, or do you think we're just exaggerating? We'd like to hear your thoughts. Taking a step away from weirdly dressed men with dangerous weapons, we move to the wild side of trail camps. By the wild side, I mean trail cam footage that captures the wonders of wildlife. In this trail cam video, we see a deer resting. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? That's at least the case until you see the two eyes moving in the background. The uploader of this footage speculates that the mysterious figure could be a demonic being haunting the forest and preying on unsuspecting animals. His assertion brings to mind a scene from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone where Voldemort must drink the blood of unicorns to sustain himself. What if there are creatures out there in the woods that actually have to do this? See how the eyes quickly disappear and reappear on the right side of the screen. Although a paranormal explanation excites me, another part of me leans toward a more rational explanation. The eyes in the background could belong to either a fox or coyote. If you observe the movement of the eyes, you'll notice a pattern that resembles the way coyotes and foxes move, almost as if you can visualize their feet in motion. But do tell me, what do you think? Still on Predators, we have this trail cam capture that we're gonna need your help with. Have you seen anything like this? At first glance, the creature's fur made me think it could be Bigfoot, but upon closer inspection, its face resembles that of a bear or some other canine species. The creature either has no arms or its arms are tucked behind that long fur. Upon further examination, the image appears unusually clear and refined for a typical trail cam capture. This leaves me wondering. Could the trail cam capture have been edited to make it more visible, given how dark and unrefined they usually are, or are we simply looking at an elaborate hoax by someone trying to make a mockery of the paranormal community and throw us off? In the era of AI, with advanced tools for image generation, such an assertion can definitely not be far off. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you think it is, real or hoax? This next footage was sent by a trail cam enthusiast who was more intrigued than he was scared. It's normal to see sheep together during the day as they basically do everything as a unit. But what about the night? You'd expect them to be sleeping, right? After all, sheep are diurnal, which means they typically active during the day and asleep at night. That's common knowledge, right? Then how do you explain this sheep gathering? It's almost as though they were in a meeting to deliberate about something whilst their owners were asleep. Someone who is paranoid, well, not me, but someone who is, might even think that they were planning to take over the world or something. It sounds far-fetched and funny, but imagine if it actually happened. It'd be funny and sad at the same time, but that's enough ranting. What do you think caused these sheep to gather in one spot? Had they been scared by a predator, or was there something much more sinister going on? Share your thoughts in the comments section. 
Next, we take a trip to Mexico. This trip is not one, however, filled with sunshine and rainbows, but instead darkness and what some might describe as feelings of evil. A group of friends had decided to camp out in the woods, but just couldn't shake off the feeling that they were being stalked. To add to this, there were sounds they heard coming from the woods. Sounds that they never heard before in their entire life. As inexperienced as they were, they knew something was not quite right. They confirmed this when they started to see weird footprints around their settlement with various items belonging to them getting lost. Had someone followed them into the woods? Did another person live there that was trying to scare them off? They just couldn't tell. One of them, however, had a drone and decided to fly it around in hopes of finding who or whatever it was that was responsible for all that was happening to them. Although it was dark, the drone was equipped with a thermal sensor. For the first time since they arrived, it felt like they were a step ahead. Perhaps they were, but nothing could have prepared them for what they saw. The drone captured what looked like a tall man moving through the woods not far from them. The height of the man was unnatural, and so was how fast he moved. They followed him with the drone till he came to a stop. Since he was not moving anymore, they decided to switch to a normal view to see what the man looked like, but they didn't see a man. Instead, it was a deer. This was not possible. The thermal sensor would have reported something in the form of a deer if it was one earlier. Confused, the friends uploaded this online, and the paranormal community was quick to point out that they might have encountered a skinwalker that may have been shapeshifting. Perhaps it sensed the drone when it stopped moving, which is why it switched. Some say they were lucky to have come out of the woods at all. But what say you, real or too good to be true? What do you see? A creature from the depths of hell or a being that had been cursed to roam the earth forever? When I saw this capture, I almost jumped out to state this was something from the nether realm. Thankfully, I had my research assistant with me, who quickly pointed out that it was captured by a trail cam that had been set up by one of the local police departments. Were they looking for ghosts? Not likely. But what you see before you is not otherworldly creatures, but instead men in ghillie suits. This is something worn by both military personnel and photographers in the wild for the sole purpose of camouflage. Imagine I ended up calling them damned souls. You guys would have roasted me for sure. This next footage, however, is something that we don't have logical explanations for. Before you conclude that it's probably a man walking through the woods that had been blurred out due to the speed at which he was moving, you need to know that this was a capture from a remote location in Marshall County, Oklahoma, which has no humans around for miles. The uploader asked the online community what they thought this was, and some stated that his trail cam may have captured a goblin lurking in the woods. Some thought it was Bigfoot, but even I know that's definitely not possible given its small size. A goblin sounds more realistic than Bigfoot does. Either way, it's hard to tell based on the quality of the image. Does anyone here live near Marshall County? Have you heard of creatures like goblins moving through your woods? Kindly let us know. We've reviewed our fair share of strange and unrecognizable noises and voices on this channel, but this particular piece of footage is where I'm, well, kind of uncertain about what we may be dealing with. Some brothers decided to explore the woods only to be stopped dead in their tracks by strange and unsettling noises. Have a listen. What do you think that sounds like? It's hard to say it belongs to any wild creature we know. Could it be otherworldly? It's hard to tell as it sounds more animalistic than anything supernatural or demonic. But those are just my thoughts. What do you hear in those sounds? Revisiting the subject of orbs, we have this odd and weird footage. If you saw the earlier orb footage in this compilation, you would have heard me mention that these orbs could be indicative of paranormal activity. This footage only confirms that. This is a camera set up in a very remote area in the woods where no one visits. You can imagine the shock of the owner of this trail cam when he reviews the footage captured and sees the orb flying around and suddenly disappearing. 
he couldn't help but wonder what it was. No one online seems to have any answers either, not even the scientific community. He'd hoped to at least have gotten an explanation that it might be a bug or something, but it's apparently none of these. Could this be a spiritual entity roaming that side of the woods? Could the camera have just picked up the movement of the being and not its full form because it's not fully in our dimension? We have so many questions and so few answers. Perhaps you can help. What do you think? Next, we have this capture of what seems to be a giant creature moving over a trail camera set up in the woods. Taking a closer look at the image, we see a knee, a thigh, and a calf. These are features of the human leg, but how's that possible? Whatever it is, it's clearly bigger than an average human would be. Once this was uploaded online, some stated that there was hair or fur on the leg, which might make it a Bigfoot. For the first time in a long time, however, this is something I just don't see. I'd expect a Bigfoot to have a bit more fur than is present here. Also, tagging it as a Bigfoot sounds too convenient and too good to be true. But if it's not a Bigfoot, what then is it? What other humanoid creature could be that big? Next, we take a trip to Brazil. This time not for the festivals or pretty ladies, but instead for something eerie and, quite frankly, disturbing. A farmer came across an animal that was dead or dying. From afar, he could see the creature. But if you know anything about farmers, you know their heart of gold would not let them leave a creature stranded. When he got closer to the animal, however, what he saw was right out of the books of a mad scientist experimenting with creating his own animals. The creature had no features that resembled any animal he'd seen. It had eyes, which were almost joined together, an organ protruding out of its forehead, and ears which looked like they'd been glued to the rest of its body. Try as they might, they just couldn't tell what the animal was. Some suggested it might be a deformed calf, but none of its features remotely resembled that of a calf. Unfortunately, they never got the creature to a vet before disposing of it. So I turn to you. What do you think it was? Have you heard of the legend of Slenderman? Have you thought of the possibility of encountering him? Well, the one who sent this footage in didn't have to imagine that he experienced it. He actually lived it. At least according to him, if you pay close attention to the footage, you can see a man from afar moving his arms in a waving motion. A closer look and you realize that the man actually has multiple hands or tentacles. Whoever was recording the footage believes it's no man at all but the otherworldly creature known as Slenderman. The man seems to believe he's looking at the real thing, but is it though? If you ask me, I'd have to admit that I don't think it is. I mean, Slenderman is supposed to be unnaturally tall, but when you compare the height of the creatures to the thing around it, its height is within acceptable human range. Also, the tentacles look fake. It's almost as though there are other ones showing from behind the creature instead of from its sides. But those are my assertions. What do you think? Have you ever been to a cemetery alone? Have you noticed weird and eerie things while there? Well, so is the owner of this footage. He claims he's noticed and experienced many strange things at many of the cemeteries, and this footage has one of them. It's faint, though if you blink, you'll probably miss it. You'd also want to watch this in the highest quality available to you. If you pay attention here, you'd see as the camera pans to the right, a faint smoke rises out of the ground just before he drops the camera. Did you see it? Remember, it's daytime. This means if he'd taken the footage at night in the absence of all the daylight, we might have seen a clearer image of whatever creature that was. If that was the only thing, we could have dismissed it. But then his wife took this next image, which shows an orb near the Great Marcus. If we have said anything about orbs showing up on cameras on this channel, it's that it's a sign of paranormal activity. But what could it be? Ghosts or some otherworldly creatures? What do you think? There are many things I can stomach, but there is one thing that even my ironclad stomach cannot stand, and it's the sight of maggots in a dead carcass. You can imagine what this footage is doing to me right now. The footage you're seeing was found by a farmer who was led to the site by the stench coming from the carcass. He got there to see a creature encased in a yellow sheet. Upon getting closer, he realized it was no yellow sheet, 
Instead, he was actually looking at a dead bear covered in thousands, if not millions, of maggots feeding upon it. He's a farmer, so he's certainly seen worse. I don't know how I would have reacted if I were the one who discovered it, but do tell us what your reaction would have been like. If you made it this far, then you deserve this bonus clip. Have you wondered what a deer would look like with a beach ball stuck in his antlers? Well, me neither, but here's the footage of it anyway. Looks funny, does it not? Either way, it's a reminder to keep our environment safe for these beautiful creatures. Thanks for watching this far. See you in the next one.